different realm. Listen, I list today. I prayed and after the prayers, I, I listened to a message. You know, this great man of God, I've been mentioning his name. Apostle Michael Oropo. I listened to the man, he said something. He said, when he met Apostle Orombe, that is his spiritual father, when he met him, he, 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 he said he told the man that I'm a prophet. The, he said the first day he met Apostle Oromi, Aromi Osai. Is it Osai? He said, he told, he said, I told the man, I'm a prophet. He said, I am a prophet. He said, the man said, you are light. He said, that was what the man told him. He said, you are light. You are a prophet. You are, you, you are light. You are not heavy. The man scanned him. He went him and he said, no, you are light. You are not strong. You are not loaded. You are not strong spiritually. Because some men are operating in a different realm. So he told him, he said, there are some messages you must listen to. He told him. Prophet. That is Michael Oropo. But he met the man. The man told him, you are light. Spiritually, you are not strong. You are not strong. So he said, he started following the man. He said, some him one day, he said, come and sleep in my house. Apostle Oromi. Is it Oromi? Aromi or Sai. He said, come and sleep in my house. So he said, he went to his house. Around 12, he called him. And he started praying with him. Started praying with him. A woman, no friend, no one in the vampire. A woman, no friend, no one in the vampire. He said, one day he called him and he said, Now you are strong in the spirit. Now you can enter into, he said, You are about to enter into your next realm. And look at what God is doing with this man. Are you here with me, somebody? Look at what God is doing with this man. He has prepared himself. So if you see the man operating in a different realm, don't criticize him. He has paid the price. The man has paid the price. Look at what God is doing with him. He's a young pastor, but great men invite him. This month, oh no, sorry, next month, he will come to Port City. He will come. Last year, is it last year? Last year, yeah, last year he came to Port City. I was there. You love it. Man is so microphone, you feel the presence of God. On preaching, what to you, presence in that A lot of people were were speaking in tongues. The man was singing and people were speaking in tongues. Listen to me. If you are operating in a different realm, beloved, you can take a microphone and the Holy Ghost will begin to move. The Holy Ghost will begin to move. The Spirit of God begin to move. One day I listened to me. He said, he attended a meeting and uh, um, Pastor Chris, Pastor Chris, the man entered and three cripples stood up and began to walk. One so microphone crew, Pastor Chris entered the auditorium. The man carried something. The man is operating a different realm. But you one headache, you will pray, okay, 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 break. Sometimes you fast 30 days to cast out one demon, to heal one sick. The man entered and three cripples. They stood up and, and then they started walking. That is a realm. That is a realm. Beloved, in the realms of the spirit, listen to me. If you don't prepare yourself, there are, there are some realms you cannot enter. I am, you cannot. You cannot. So I said it, that the God that we are serving, eh, if someone did it and God lifted the person, if you do it, the same God will do it for you because the Bible said Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hey. He will do it for you. There is a realm in the spirit. Lazy men cannot enter into that level, that realm. Lazy men and lazy women cannot enter into that realm. They can't. There is a realm. There is a realm. Let me say it again. There is a realm in the spirit, beloved. Lazy men and lazy women cannot enter into that realm. We are in a generation, a lot of people are lazy. A lot of people are lazy. When it comes to prayer, you will see them. But when it comes to prophetic, you will see them because they want to hear something. Listen to me. If you receive a prophetic word and you don't battle, you don't pray, the enemy will frustrate that prophetic word. The enemy will frustrate that prophetic word. You think the guy 
we are dealing with. He doesn't know the scripture. Satan, the guy knows the scripture. Huh? You think that Satan doesn't know the scripture? The Bible says, for I know the plans I have for you. See, the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you future and hope. You think the guy we are dealing with, he doesn't know the scripture. Last Sunday, uh, last Tuesday, those who came to church, I said it. Listen, some people can invite you to church just to listen to what God eh, has planned for you. So you go to church, a man of God will pick you and begin to profess to you. This is what God said he will do in your life. Those people will be sitting, okay, that is the plan of God for the person. We will make sure we will frustrate them, that plan. Beloved, you can receive a prophetic word. If you don't fight, if you don't battle, if you don't fast and pray, the adversary will frustrate that prophetic word. It will not come to pass. There is a prophetic word on everyone here. There is a prophetic word on everyone. There is a prophetic word on your life. There is a prophetic word on my life. But beloved, we, if, if we don't stand and pray, beloved, continuously, I am telling you that prophetic word will not come to pass. So the Bible said that Satan came to still kill and to destroy. The guy is on his head to destroy destinies. He's here to frustrate plans. He's here to destroy your destiny. The devil. The devil. That is the reason why you must pray continuously. That is the reason why you must pray continuously. I pray that in the name of Jesus, God will strengthen you to pray like never before. God will strengthen you to fast like never before. God will strengthen you to study the word like never before. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Beloved, some people are operating in, 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 in different realms. Ah, men are operating in different realms. Apostle Michael Rocco said it. He said, Apostle, um, what is the name? Is it O O O? Aromi, sir. Aromi. He said it. He said, Take time and study the word. You need the knowledge of God. He told him, Study the word. What will take you far is the knowledge of God. What will take you far is the knowledge of God. Beloved, this man I'm talking about, he's loaded. Michael Rocco, he's loaded. The man is loaded. As a Bible, he said, 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 he knows that when you discover certain things in the Bible, you'll be free. He knows it. So he will prevent you. You can read every book, but when you take the Bible, you begin to sleep. You will not understand. The, the psalmist said it. David, he said it. He said, open my eyes that I may behold the wondrous things in your word. The wonderful things. Other version will tell you. Open my eyes that I may behold the wonderful things in your word. The word of God is made up of wonderful things. So the last time I said it, that every book is made up of letters. But the word of God is made up of wonderful things. When you have access to these wonderful things, beloved, you will do exploit in your journey of life. You will do exploit. So the devil will prevent you. You know, we are, in a, we are in a generation or we are in an era that a lot of people can pray but they cannot study the word. They can pray. The man told him, he said, what you need is the knowledge of God. It is the knowledge of God that will change your level. So spend time and study the word. Apostle, or, or, what is the name? Aromi, 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 sir. He told uh, Apostle Oropo, Michael Oropo, study the word. Study the word. Study the word. Study the word. If you will study the word, you will go far. Because God is the word and the word is God. God is the word and the word is God. Beloved, if you have knowledge, if you have knowledge, no demon can limit you. No witch can limit you. So spend time and stay the word. Beloved, I pray that your level will change in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, I pray that your level will change in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your amen is sweet, somebody. Amen. I say, may your level change spiritually. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May your level change. May your level change. Beloved, when you enter into that realm, demons will be afraid of you. Demons. 
will be afraid of you. There is a realm in the spirit. When you enter into that realm, ah, ah, demons, they will be afraid of you. 